Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Max from SketchUp TV and today we are creating a parallax scrolling effect in Sketch and Principle. So and what I did at first was to um, export all the assets that we need in Principle and the assets were the top bar but I separately exported the Phobos title then I exported the details without the profile image, so it's separately exported. Um, then I exported the profile image and our images right here. And to show you what we will create today, I prepared a little preview file right here. And what we will do is to create a parallax scrolling effect that's nice and smooth and that lets us uh, scroll through these photos and so that we have a nice um, animation a nice uh, parallax animation of the top with a blur effect of the image and uh, the resizing of the profile image okay so let's start with a new principal file right here and we simply start by um, adding all the assets that we need. Okay, but at first I just add some filling right here. And then we start out by dragging in the images that we exported. And also the header images. both the normal and the blurred image. We can um, change the opacity of the blurred image to zero for the moment. And then we just add uh, the top bar, top bar, and we add the Phobos title because the Phobos title will get um, invisible later in our animation. Then we add the details of the profile <coughs> and we add the profile pic just like that. Then just uh, realign everything. Like that. And now I think we are good to go. We've set up everything right here. Okay. Yeah, looks good. So our scrollable content will be the images right down here. And we change the vertical uh, position or mechanics to scroll. We get a folder, scroll window. And now we can scroll this already. Um, at first we just click drivers so we can uh, change um, in this uh, so we can change the drivers basically with the scrolled value in pixels right here. And we want to change the Y value of the profile image and the details. So we just uh, select both of them, hit Command and G to group them up. And now we want to change the Y value. Okay, so the scroll effect looks like this, and we want we just want it to we just want the details to to uh, go with the um, scrollable content. So I just go there, for example, hit this one, and now we change uh, the Y value so it matches um, our scrollable content. And it's like a bit trial and error for now, but you will see later on uh, why it's important to see. Oh, why is it not released? Ah, okay, yeah, that was the mistake. We have to go to this uh, layer or to this group and then we have to select uh, this top point 
and just um, drag it up to the top. So now you will see that our content is uh, possible is able to scroll um, everywhere. So not just in this area right here, but also in this top area. Um, okay, so let's just reposition that again. And now we want to, oh, that was stupid. Let's go to this, yeah, that's what I wanted. And just change it to the position of the scrollable content that is around here and now you see that it's just going with the content and at a certain point it just breaks and the content is able to scroll below the details but that's not the correct position that we want because we want it to be like a maximum of uh, of this uh, Y value, so we just go back. Oh, sorry. We just go to this point and set a like break, like a new driver key frame right here. And we just can uh, delete, we are just able to delete this one. So now it just should work fine. To this point, it just scrolls with the content and then the content scrolls below it. Okay, we just, we are able to uh, make them visible again. And what we also want is to uh, hide the Phobos um, title once we are at a certain point. So we just say this is at 100% and at around this point right here, the title gets more and more invisible like or maybe around there okay so we just click that and change this to 0% and you will see that it's just looking fine right here when we see when we just uh, scroll through it, it just gets invisible okay the next thing we want to do is to change the width and the height of our profile image and we want it to um, change it at this point as well. So we click on our profile image, we click height, width and height and we change them to a certain value once it's, once it's around here. So we just click them again and we just resize it the way we want it, maybe around this. I want it to be centered, to be still centered. And now we can see it in our preview that it's just working super fine. Okay, next we want to have a um, blurred header image which is currently invisible but we want it to be visible once our content is around oh uh, yeah once it is around here so we want it to be fully blurred just click the keyframe at this position, uh, position and change it to 100 and then we can also experiment the um, value right here so if you want it to be um, to be visible uh, some at some later time we can also change it to this and it just uh, should look fine yeah so you see it's still not invisible or it's yeah it's still not blurred fully blurred at this point but we would like it to be blurred once it is maybe around here okay so yeah that's the animation 
But uh, what I don't like is that the title is still visible uh, as our photo is above it. So I would just go back to um, this layer, select it, and change the keyframes a bit. So we just see that it's looking nice right here. It's a nice animation that we see in this case. We see our blurred header image, the scrollable content and that the profile image is resizing just nice. So yeah, that was today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. The last video was all about creating a, tre a screen transition from a menu to this screen right here. So, and if you would like to see more of them, just subscribe to this channel. The link will be visible right now. And I just want to thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Enjoy designing and you will find all the assets and files down in the description that I used in this tutorial. And yeah, thanks guys and enjoy your day. See you.